Hello, my beautiful two loves. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm so, so happy that you guys are here. Um, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. In today's video, we are going to be doing a entrance for my new island, Pinecone. It is such a random name, I know, I know. Uh, but you may be wondering, what is the theme? Um, the theme is going to be a natural island with pinkish hints over it, kind of like my old island lavender, but I don't know how to explain this island. It's going to be giving grandma core vibes, hopefully. Before I do start, I want to say thank you, thank you so much to crossing underscore little root for the inspiration of my entrance. Uh, I seen this picture of her island um, and I just thought, wow that is incredible and during that time i was kind of debating what kind of theme i wanted to do i wanted to kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit um and i seen this picture on instagram and it absolutely inspired me i love the coloring i love everything about the picture was just uh, chef's kiss and i wanted to kind of recreate a little bit of it so i want to say thank you so so much zoe for the inspiration you be sparking that uh motivation in me and i just want to say thank you so um definitely check her out i will have her social media down in the description so you guys can definitely check that entrance i'm super excited to see her new island how it all comes out i'm just excited excited all the islands are just beautifully made and yeah but anyways enough of me rambling thank you so much zoe for the inspiration but let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i had to do was i had to start my pathing and i'm not going to lie to you guys i struggle a lot with placing this path and the reason was because i wanted to add trees in the front area just like zoe had some trees but then i decided to do the path like this instead and i have never really used paths that were kind of like opposite i don't know if you guys noticed that the path is not like exactly like uh i don't know how to explain it but it's not like how if you were to use an a path and you would place them by pieces they were just kind of like backwards i don't know if that makes sense i'm sorry if i'm confusing you so in the beginning i did mention that i wanted to do a natural grandma core island theme but honestly as i started doing like little buildings and just working on the island and doing the pathing my theme is not very i really don't know what to call it yet um maybe you guys can figure it out for me because i still have no clue but i started working on this building over here and honestly at first it was too long this area took a lot of error and trial um it was way too long and when i started placing the castle gates i felt as it was just way too long and i did not like it so i ended up cutting some of the areas and then over here i just started adding some of the pathing i don't know why but i have to add like a pathing on top like i don't like to see just like the full grass but here i started placing the medieval castle and i really like it um i have never or would have never thought that i would ever use this item just because i'm not comfortable with these items um but new year and new me new island so here i just finished up the area and it's very important to pull out your camera to look at the area and just kind of see if you like it um how i noticed that it was too long is when i went back to the airport I pulled out my camera and I did not like it and over here I started adding some fencing and I wanted to do something different other than other than the um, the hedges but honestly the hedges were just amazing it just matched so well and it just looks so great and I just decided to do the uh, hedges but here you can see I've tr I'm like trying all of the um, what is it called fencing that i have but honestly you can never go wrong with hedges it just makes everything look super super uh, pretty and natural and if you guys have any questions on how to lay a path like this let me know i could definitely help you guys i know that it's a little bit difficult at first um and i also did not want to bore you and just show you the whole pathing process but if that's something you guys would like to see or learn i could definitely do a short video 
or it could be a short and just show you how this pathing was laid out i'm not saying it's perfect because it's not but i could definitely show you guys um and then one thing about this path was i wanted to incorporate some trees but as soon as i like erased a little piece of the pathing it was just odd and i didn't like it and here i was just so desperate to try to add some elements of nature because i did say that i wanted to keep it like a natural pinkish island but i realized like i just need to go with the flow and not try to force things in and there right there just like it was a change right there like you see the difference between me putting a tree in the front um and the tree behind instead and i also wanted to really incorporate some storefronts and for this first area in front i wanted to do like a plant area maybe a tulip farm because i know that um zoe she had like a bunch of like little houses but i just took like inspiration of like the the tone and like the f the vibe in the entrance but i didn't like completely like copied it i used elements that i would incorporate like flowers and um it's always good to take inspiration but always add a sprinkle of your details i don't know if that makes sense but for this area i wanted to do a little tulip farm and just make it look nice but anyways i'm gonna stop talking for a little bit just a little bit and i'll let you guys see So if I was to give you a tip on this build would be definitely have the items prepare that you want to use just because this area took me so 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 long because I was running into like oh I forgot this oh I don't have enough plants like the orange tulips in the front area I kid you not i thought i had all of the like plants but no i had to run into a treasure island and grab some more flowers i also want to mention that if you um are struggling to get items and are willing to like do treasure island um there are some free ones on twitch all you have to do is search up animal crossing uh, treasure island and sometimes there's a way and sometimes there isn't but you can get plants bells furniture and it's much easier to do a build like that in my opinion i just realized that i have been saying um for seven minutes straight and i'm sorry it's just i haven't done a voiceover in so long and i want to explain it to you and not say a lot of ums but ums is definitely my vocabulary as well but let me try not to say um a lot for this area over here i wanted to add a sitting area and i was thinking between a just a regular bench or to add the iron garden uh table i think that's what it's called uh and i decided to do this instead i really like it and i decided to add a dessert on top for the other areas that i built in this area honestly i just winged it and i went with the vibe of like the sunrise it just like helped a lot and like i said it's very important to pull your camera out and look at the areas just see if you like it and see if you're vibing with it for this a uh, little area over here i was thinking should i just stop here should that just be the entrance and i was like no i need to incorporate more things and because i was so firm that i wanted to do like a garden oh no not a garden court a grandma core island theme i wanted to incorporate a flower field so this is when i start digging all of the plants and rocks and trees that were in the way and i decided to use a different pathing it's always nice to use two different pathings next to each other so i seen this picture on instagram where it's similar to this pathing but it's a white version i believe 
and i was so tempted to use that one instead but i feel like that brown gives that like su a subtle natural look but i am tempted to kind of see how it looks but i feel like if it's the white one it's going to head more towards elegant core garden core and i really don't want to do that because i will definitely not give that theme justice um, I also seen a picture on Instagram of a little flower field. I will have the social media down in the description as well. And I really liked it, but I decided to add a different touch and decided to do all pink flowers instead of uh, how the picture looked. But I will leave their social media down in the description if you'd like to check out their little flower field. kind of themes are you guys doing these days because now that i'm kind of looking at it this kind of reminds me of valentine's and i normally don't finish islands before like a holiday or like a season but i'm hoping that i can finish this island by valentine's day and i want to incorporate a lot of valentine items like flowers and those little heart chocolates that they have um, I'm honestly not complaining. Hopefully I can finish it by Valentine's and I can give you guys a tour on Valentine's. I'm really really excited. What theme are you guys doing though? Are you guys doing natural, garden core, fairy, norm core? What kind of island themes are you guys doing? I'm very very curious. I think what's motivating me or just kind of uh, giving me the inspiration of doing a Valentine's theme is all of the like, pink colors that i'm using like the pink flowers all of the pink bushes and the trees that are cherry blossom i think it's just motivating me to do like this valentine's pink island um and i just i don't know it's probably that th that's probably the only reason why i'm thinking of a valentine's island but for this area i wanted to do some waterscaping but instead of using the waterscaping tool I will be using this beautiful pond code. I am going to add some ducks and I will also be adding some of the mom flower cushions. I think that's what they're called. And just make this cute little pond and I feel like it gives a vibe. Like it's it's vibing. Like when I started doing a tour, like a like walking around the island, I was like honestly this pond is a vibe. And also, don't you just love when you're trying to place a path somewhere and you kick it instead and it just looks like yeah you're like oh okay not where i wanted to i wanted to add some fencing but honestly it just looked a little bit odd so i decided to use a different type of fencing and i don't remember what this item is called but i felt it looked more simple and it didn't look cluttered and i wanted to use like a a pond splash coat but I need to go code shopping for that because I didn't like how this one looked. It didn't match the pond exactly. So I need to do some code shopping for that. Um, also, I don't know, this is like super random. But that little jellyfish, no, jelly song is stuck in my head from Spongebob. I don't know if you guys remember where it's like... Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, for some reason it's like stuck in my head. And I know this is like super random. But it's like stuck in my head. I don't know what kind of song is stuck in your head. Because that one's like definitely stuck in my head. And I can't get it out of my head. Okay, for the final walkthrough. This is the final walkthrough of my entrance. So for the left side, I wanted to incorporate a building. And on the right side, I wanted to add some natural elements. So I went for a tulip farm. And honestly, I really, really like, like it. It just, this time... It makes everything look so dewy and glowy and pretty. Um, we're going to ignore that I didn't finish the pathing, but all it matters is that I finished the entrance. And I will continue the pathing, but I didn't do it here. Um, so to the right side, we have this beautiful tulip farm. And you can buy some tulips and you can buy your own starter packet to have a tulip farm of your own. And for this area, I wanted to do a little pond and the little sign says, do not feed the ducks. And I honestly love this area, especially in this time, just 
look how beautiful and natural this looks and the cherry blossoms were paid actors because this looks beautiful um we're definitely gonna ignore that i did not add some hyacinths um it, it looks so weird and like a huge patch um but it's filled now um i think at the time i didn't have the flowers but i can assure you now that it is full for the front of my house i kept it simple with just some codes and a bush but yeah that's pretty much it uh thank you so much for sticking around to my chaotic build and thank you for taking time out of your day and life to watch my video i appreciate it and if you like to watch videos like this definitely subscribe and like and comment down what is your favorite area also check those amazing creators that inspired this island and i'll see you guys next time bye my beautiful tulips